following the development of markowitz portfolio theory two other major theories namely the capital asset pricing model theory and the arbitrage pricing theory have also been developed for pricing all the risky assets now before going into capm details it is necessary to understand its little background we know that capital market theory extends the portfolio theory and it allows the development of the famous model capm uh, this capm is used for determining the prices of every risky asset and it allows to determine the required rate of return for any risky asset this development depends upon the existence of a risk free assets that leads towards the market portfolio now what is market portfolio the market port portfolio is the collection of all risky assets available for trade in the market this means that asset pricing theory is also based on the risky assets now what is a risk free asset basically a risk free asset is an asset that has no variance or no riskiness this means the standard deviation on such asset is equal to 0 a risk free asset allows markowitz portfolio theory to develop into capital market portfolio a uh, capital market theory a uh, risk free asset has a zero correlation with all other risk risky assets and it offers risk free rate of return to the investors a risk free asset lies on the vertical axis of a portfolio graph that means uh, as the risk free asset as has a zero riskiness so uh, it lies on the vertical this risk free asset allows to derive a generalized theory of capital asset pricing under the conditions of uncertainty from the famous portfolio theory there are certain assumptions behind the capital theory capital market theory uh, the first assumption is the markowitz efficient investors this states that the investors want to target on the efficient frontier as per their level of utility functions the second is the riskless borrowing and selling sending uh, and lending it the theory assumes that borrowing and lending of amount is possible at the risk free rate whereas in in, in real words the lending may be possible at the risk free rate through investment in the government treasury bills but the borrowing at risk free rate is not possible the next is the no taxes or transaction cost on the buying and selling of the assets homogeneous expectations this means that investors estimate identical probability distribution for the future rate of return and that is in line with the a uh, riskiness of the security the next is a one period time horizon the capital market theory says that all investors have same one period time horizon now this time horizon may be of one month of six months or a one year uh, a varying time horizon would require investors to derive risk measures according to the uh, a time horizon they choose for their investment equilibrium capital markets this means that all assets available in the market are priced in consistent with their level of riskiness infinity divisible investment this says that it is possible to buy or sell fractional share of any any asset or the collection of assets no inflation the theory says that there is no change in the interest rate or the inflation is highly anticipated now after going through all these assumptions we can say that many of these assumptions are unrealistic they they have uh, they have no existence in the real world market a relaxing many of these assumptions would have only minor or no effect on the model and the results would not be changed the second conclusion that we may draw from these assumptions is that 
a theory should never be judged on the basis of its assumption rather it should be judged whether the theory is able to explain and predict behavior in the real world then its assumptions